Do you just wing it when you have to pitch, present or speak in front of an audience? Hi, it's Sue with your FAQ and the question this week is, well, how do I plan and put together my presentation so my message is clear and it makes sense? Well, there's two things that you need to think about, the why and the way. So why am I giving this speech or presentation and what are you there for and how do I put it together? What way am I going to structure it? Now, before you even write out your content and think about what you're going to put in your speech, you need to think about why. And the most important question there is what's in it for the audience? What are they going to take away? What's going to be of value to them? So you need to think about what you have to say, but also what's going to be of value. Now for the audience, it might be a new way of looking at something. It might be thinking about a new idea. It might be that you inspire them to support your charity. It might be simply to sell your products or services because it will be of value to them. So think about why. What's Secondly, you need to think about the structure, the way, and that's the way you're going to outline what it is that you uh, are going to say so that it follows a pattern and it so makes There's three sense. things to think about when structuring your presentation. Have a beginning, have a middle, and have an end. You don't want to put in too much. Uh, you can always give them a handout, and also reinforcement is a really there's good There's a few simple ways of putting an outline together through to much more detailed ones. So I'm going to give you an example of a really simple idea something that if you had to think on your feet that you could put together very easily and prep is what it is p-r-e-p -E -P. now p is for the point r is for the reason e is for the example and p is back to the point so let's just say my topic is learning presentation skills my point is presenting is a valuable skill to learn as it will give you confidence and the ability to sell the reason I think it's important is that we all have to use it these days online, presenting business cases, and it's really a great thing to have just for yourself and also for life skills in general. Now, to give you an example, I learned presentation skills way back and it's been a valuable asset to my career. But the very first time I did a presentation was to a business women's group in Sydney and I was absolutely scared to death. But I planned, I practiced, I rehearsed, I took on board the skills that I had learned and I somehow got through the presentation. And I must have been okay because I was then asked to present to a business women's group. In what is, I would recommend learning presentation skills for professional and also personal growth. So that's just a very quick example and I do have more on my blog this week at suecurry.com.au blog and of course if I can help you in any way please do get in touch.